the Philippine Stock Exchange Index or PSEI settles below the 6,000 level as President Rodrigo Duterte skipped presenting a detailed recovery plan in his fifth State of the Nation address. Before the President's speech on Monday, July 27, the PSEI was steady around the 6,000 level it maintained for weeks. Experts say there are also worries over the possibility that Metro Manila will revert to stricter quarantine measures. Luis Limlingan of Regina Capital says investors are keeping an eye on how lawmakers haggle over a coronavirus rescue plan. Telco stocks are among the most actively traded on Tuesday as the president in his sauna threatened to shut down Globe and Smart. Ayala-led Globe Telecom sinks to a 30-day low while Manny Pangilinan's PLDT manages to gain 0.53%. Tennis Uy's Dito CME Holdings, which was not subjected to Duterte's tirades, goes up by 3.4% to 2 pesos and 75 centavos apiece. Uy donated to Duterte's presidential campaign back in 2016. President of the Management Association of the Philippines, Francis Lim, says there are fears Smart and Globe can suffer the same fate as ABS-CBN. Lim says, quote, he gave a stern warning to two of our big businesses to improve their services until December 2020. Otherwise, he would take over. The Philippines records 83,673 COVID-19 cases as of Tuesday, July 28. Of these, 55,109 are active cases. These figures indicate the country is likely to exceed 85,000 cases. University of the Philippines' Okta Research Group earlier predicted this benchmark will be reached by the end of July. The health department says occupancy for coronavirus and non-coronavirus beds are now at the warning zone nationwide. The government earlier warned it may revert the capital region to a modified enhanced community quarantine or MECQ if COVID-19 cases continue to rise in the next two weeks. President Rodrigo Duterte is expected to announce the new quarantine measures in some areas in the country by the end of the month. Meantime, in Baguio City, coronavirus cases more than doubled over the weekend. From 19 cases on July 24, 26 more are added on Saturday and Sunday. There are now 44 cases in the city. Mayor Benjamin Magalong earlier placed 22 barangays on lockdown due to the surge so his team could facilitate contact tracing and disinfection. He also attributes the rise in cases to Baguio's heightened risk-based mass testing. Vietnam is set to suspend all flights and public transport in and out of Da Nang after a 57-year-old retired Vietnamese man was confirmed to have the disease on Saturday, July 25. This is the first community transmission since April 16, and more than a dozen new infections were found. Da Nang is a popular tourist destination, and its beaches and restaurants are packed with local visitors. Before this, Vietnam was commanded by experts as the country to stub out the virus. Lockdowns in the country were lifted in late April because of the apt government response. Vietnam records 431 cases of the coronavirus with no deaths. Malaysia's ex-leader Najib Razak is found guilty Tuesday, July 28 in his first trial in the multi-billion dollar 1MDB scandal. The charges were abuse of power, criminal breach of trust, and money laundering. The verdict comes two years after the fraud contributed to the downfall of his long-ruling government. The former prime minister will now face decades in jail after being convicted on all charges in the case related to the looting of sovereign wealth fund One Malaysia Development Berhad. Billions of dollars were stolen and spent on everything from high-end real estate to pricey art. The verdict is seen as a test of Malaysia's rule of law. It is about five months after Najib's scandal-plague party returned to power as part of a coalition, a development that observers feared could affect the outcome of the case. A blog post is circulating online saying ABS-CBN Chairman Emeritus Gabby Lopez sold all his shares in ABS-CBN Corporation and Lopez Holdings Incorporated in 2019. This claim is false. Lopez's shares in the two companies have not changed from 2019 until the second quarter of 2020. Website KidsTVA.com posts confirmed Gabi Lopez fled the Philippines, sold all his shares, he abandoned the Capamilia network. 
A video shows a montage of ABS-CBN and Lopez saying Lopez deceived the network's artists and supporters who lobbied for the renewal of its franchise. Former television newscaster and talk show host Jay Sonza also posted a similar claim on his Facebook account on July 14. He says Gabi Lopez sold all his shares in Lopez Holdings way back in the first quarter of 2019 and March 2020. But public ownership reports filed with the Philippine Stock Exchange or PSC say otherwise. ABS-CBN Corporation's quarterly stock report for April to June 2020 showed Gabi Lopez's 769,960 direct shares. This remained consistent all throughout 2019. Lopez Holdings Corporation's latest public ownership report filed on July 14 also shows Lopez owns 3,807,823 direct shares. This is the same during the first quarter of 2020 and the last quarter of 2019. What changed were his shares in ABS-CBN Holdings Corporation, a holding company that engages in all activities related to Philippine Depository Receipts or PDRs. His direct shares in ABS-CBN Holdings turned to zero on the second half of 2019 until the first quarter of 2020. ABS-CBN explains this was because Lopez's stockbroker lodged his PDRs with the Philippine Central Depository and has been amended now. Music